Today we're going to install carbon fiber grill inserts on a C8 Corvette. We are here in front of the C8 and we are going to be putting in the carbon fiber front grill insert. Um, we're only going to do one side on the video because they are identical in every way. Um, now there's there's a little bit of a trick to this. There's two or actually three screws that are actually pointed backwards um, coming through the grill on the back. Okay, so there's one here, one here, and one here. So what you're gonna have to do is just get a, a little ratchet and be able to go backwards through here and you'll be able to get them get it free. And you can see I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you here on the camera this is where they're at. And when we take the other one off then we'll take the clips that are on the original piece here we'll transfer them over to this and we'll, we'll put them back in and then you can see that there's just the little tabs here that actually fit right in so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to take a small ratchet here you can see it's very small it's a little seven millimeter okay and i'm going to reach up in here just like so and we're just going to undo it so Again, guys, like I say all the time, it takes a little finesse to get it. Some time and finesse, that's all you're gonna need. Okay, so now that we've got all of our, th our screws out, now all we're doing is we're just taking this, we're gonna pull it forward. Just like that. You can see that little clip right there. It just goes right into that hole. And it'll be pretty snug. That's what you want. And then at this point, you're gonna pull out, and then you're gonna pull kind of down like this. Okay. be able to pull this up and out like that you want to make sure there's a clip here too so you don't want to get your paint you don't want to chip your paint okay and then you can pull it out so it it does take a little bit of when we go to put the new one in it's gonna you're gonna rock it kind of in like that okay and so we'll just take these here you can see that these are the little clips that we were talking about right here we're just gonna transfer those off of here and we we'll probably have to have a little screwdriver so we could probably use a body tool. Like that. That's one. Another one. Alright. We got that. Now we're done with that piece. So we can now take our new piece right here. We can put our clips on there. Okay, just like that. Like that. And like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide this on now. Okay, so it's got that in there like that. I'm gonna take this little guy, and we're gonna slide it into the slot right up here. Just like that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put the screws back in it, and we'll be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our screws in.
and then we'll get our ratchet. We'll snug these little guys up. So that's a good thing guys. So if you drop it down there like that, you can reach right through this side over here. You can reach down in. You just can't get up there with a the ratchet to, to tighten it up because your arm won't bend enough, but you can reach in to get your, your wrench or your ratchet or whatever you decide that you're gonna use to do this. So we're almost done with this screw here. all there is to doing that a little bit of patience a little finesse you'll be able to get it on you know shouldn't have to take the bumper cover or the bottom plate loose to be able to do that if you've got really big hands maybe you can find somebody it will they'll have smaller hands that can help you but it's uh, just simply a seven millimeter screw it takes takes these on and off so that's all there is to it